Hello, this is Benjamin John Pope and we're opening Adobe Animate and we're going to knock down the width to 100 and the height to 100 because we are making an icon. Now, file, save as, icon, documents, Adobe Animate. <coughs> I'll just put in any of them. I'll just surely <coughs> have an icons, icon, Now, what's funny about it is that really you can get some sort of inspiration looking at other people's icons. And what I've done is I've actually remembered an icon on my desktop. And the icon that's on my desktop that I wanted to somehow just demonstrate is actually Microsoft Word. But I'm going to do another version of it. And I've pulled out three rectangles each of the rectangles has a, um, a stroke of four. <coughs> I'm now going to colour them into a blue. Like, I'm going to choose a nice blue to match. And the stroke is going to be a different colour blue. And then beneath it, is going to be a different colour blue and it's a really quick tutorial because it's basically really easy to make some icons believe it or not are very very simple and they should be simple because making them small means they need to have um, they need to have defined clarity when they're small so really <coughs> I just wanted to mess around there and just laugh a bit because it's I know what I'm doing, I'm doing Microsoft Word icon but on Microsoft Word you can leave that as the icon near, near enough you could get rid of the outlines and it'd be more like the Microsoft Word <coughs> but on the third layer you just do that change that blue should I change the blue I think I'm going to change that blue go like that and get rid of the lines just do that uh, then I might just make if you get the bucket tool which is a tool I don't really speak about but I want to use the ink bucket tool. But the bucket tool can fill in colours. And the ink bottle fills in lines. And 
ink bottle just worked perfectly then <coughs> and it matches that one though but what we need is we need a W W simple as that just a W plain white Go to properties, uh, select your letter, just bring it down. And there you have Microsoft Word icon. And if you want to export this, or make the W a different W <coughs> that W is quite nice if it was a bit bigger Microsoft Word <coughs> and that's really how easy it is to do a design for an icon <coughs> but it's about what text you choose, it's about how you detail in simplistic ways and really it's fun but I think just a second ago What I had originally was probably loads better. Like the very first W I chose. That one. And if you want to export this, you export the image. And you choose PNG 24, choose transparency. That's what the icon looks like. You save the file. And well, you just say save. And that's the end of the tutorial.